Japan is getting its first new banknotes in 20 years. The fresh designs entered circulation on Wednesday, featuring technology meant to beat counterfeiters. Some 7.5 billion of the bills will be printed this fiscal year. But they won't be a welcome sight for many small businesses, because Japan is a country that still loves cash and payment by machine. It's the usual way at places like this Tokyo noodle joint. Boss Shintaro Sekiguchi has had to upgrade the payment machines at his three branches, and he says that's a big cost for small business. The unit price of a bowl of ramen is not that high, so running the shop for a day or two would hardly pay for the replacement. It's a huge burden for me to have to upgrade the ticket machines like this. In all, he says it's cost him about 600,000 yen, or about $3,700, while doing nothing to boost sales. Sekiguchi says upgrading to machines that also allow card payments was even more expensive and beyond his budget. Such factors mean only around half of restaurant ticket systems are ready for the change. Japan is a land of vending machines too. It's thought about 80% of the country's 2.2 million drink dispensers will need an upgrade. However, most ATMs, train ticket machines and retail cash registers are ready. And some companies definitely aren't complaining. Takemori Kawanami is an executive at Elcom, which makes ticket machines. He says it could take until the end of the year to meet all the demand. Japanese companies delivered the biggest wage hikes in three decades this year. That's according to the nation's largest union on Wednesday. It said monthly pay was up 5.1% on average this year, with both big and small firms following the trend. The outcome of what's called the Shunto, or Spring Labor Negotiations, is seen as key for Japan to achieve a positive cycle of economic recovery. It would help improve household income and consumption to outweigh the rising cost of living. Any positive and self-sustaining growth could also help policymakers put an end to deflation. It might also bring the Bank of Japan closer to further interest rate hikes. In mid-March, major firms said pay rises had accelerated to 5.2.8%, which was the biggest since the 1990s. The central bank then made its landmark decision to end negative interest rates. But income inequalities remain, with small firms finding it hard to offer big wage increases. To address such issues, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's administration has vowed to raise minimum hourly pay to 1,500 yen, or $9.27, from around 1,000 yen by the mid-2030s.